Hi friends, in this video we are going to discuss how to calculate the criteria for accepting or rejecting a project. This is a very typical capital budgeting problem wherein a manager has to decide whether a project is feasible. The initial outlay of the project is given and cash flows in the next four years are also given. The discount rate should be given in the problem and in this case it is 10%. So we begin by making two columns in Excel for the year and the cash flows. We begin with year zero where there is a negative cash flow of 100,000. This is the capital outlay of the project. And we have four years coming up, one, two, three, and four. We put in the cash flows here, 50,000. 20,000, 30,000, and 10,000. Now we are going to calculate the net present value first. So for this, we will type in the formula is equal to NPV. Put a bracket. Now the first parameter here is the rate, and that is given to be 10%. We need to put in the values now which will be the values from years 1 to 4. To this, we will add the cash flow of year 0 and type enter. Now this should be in a number format and we derive the net present value very easily. Now let's just understand why we calculated it in this fashion. So the parameters that we selected were C8 to C11, which are the cash flows from years 1 to 4. Now, when I discount it by 10%, I get the present value of the cash inflows of this project. And when we add the initial outlay, we are in a way deriving the net present value or the net value of this project to the business. So in this case, the net present value is negative, which means that the project should be rejected. Next, we need to calculate the internal rate of return. This is very easy in Excel. We type equal to IRR and select all the cash flows, including the initial outlay. We will increase the places to decimal to derive the internal rate of return as 4.95%. Now calculating the profitability index, we need to first calculate the present value of all cash inflows of the project and divide it by the initial outlay. So equal to NPV in brackets, 10% and selecting the cash flows from years 1 to 4. This needs to be divided by the initial outlay as a positive figure. So I will divide it by minus C7, which gives me the profitability index. Now lastly, we need to calculate the payback period. The payback period will be calculated as year in which the cumulative cash flow is last negative plus minus of the cumulative cash flow of that year divided by the cash flow of the next year. So we are talking about cumulative cash flows here. So firstly, I need to add another column where I have the cumulative cash flows. So we accumulate the cash flows. Drag it down we get all the cumulative cash flows. So now in this case, 
the year in which the cumulative cash flow is last negative. This is year 2. So we begin the formula as equal to year 2. Add minus of this last negative cash flow divided by the cash flow of the next year, which is the cash flow in year 3. And here we get the payback period as 3 years. We can also see it from the cumulative cash flows here that in this year, in the third year, the cumulative cash flows is zero, which means the initial cost has been fully recovered. In the further videos, I will be discussing variations of these problems. We will include depreciation and other complications and see how to derive the net present value internal rate of return and other parameters. Hope you enjoyed watching this video.